Volvo sees a clear opportunity to introduce an electric truck into our North America product portfolio. Several reasons for this include the technology investments and maturity of the electric drive line. We have regulatory and legislative demands. And more importantly, we have customers that are demanding a sustainable solutions. Volvo sees the opportunity to introduce a sustainable electric premium truck offer. So as these items converge, it allows for an excellent opportunity to introduce electric products. It's always exciting to introduce new products to our customers, and it's even more exciting when we get to introduce an electric VNR product. Of course, with that said, we have to have this complete network ready and prepared for this introduction. So say for an example, our dealerships, they have to be well-trained and supported for these type products. Our sales staff, they have to have the right tools, the right knowledge to be able to talk to our customer about the suitability of the electric vehicle. The workshops, we have to have technicians that are trained, prepared to service these products. Aftermarket, we want the right parts at the right time through the PDC warehouse. And connected services need to be fully ready to go for these products because we want to maintain the uptime on our customers' products. For the state of technology we have for batteries, it is a significant portion of the electric drive line. So what we're looking to do is optimize the total number of batteries on a vehicle. We don't want to carry too much energy that allows for impact to payload. At the same time, we want to go with too few batteries and not have enough range. At the same time, we're continuing the development of our batteries and the battery solutions. Over time, the cost of the batteries is decreasing, and this will help us as we want to prove the total cost of ownership. It's still a significant portion, but will continue to decrease as we go towards 2025 and 2030 time range. So with an electric vehicle, obviously you need the charging infrastructure to go along with it. So as part of a premium total electric vehicle offer, we need to work with the customers to define what that charging infrastructure needs to be. What's the location? What's the type? How do we want to set it up in order to ensure that they have the full operational needs satisfied? This is an evolution. It's going to take time. We have to get the products out there, build the charging infrastructure. Initially, it's going to be based on on depots and hubs where it's controlled at the site. Over time, this will expand until we have more public places for charging electric vehicles.